yeah, it's 11.25 at night because I apparently don't know when to record during the day. Hey guys. Halloween series, I am doing my opinion on a couple of horror classics, um, ones I haven't seen before. And this week, as you can tell by the title, is Child's Play. This video will contain spoilers. I will leave a timestamp in the description for when you'll be able to see my opinion on the film rather than what the film is about and the spoilers. So you can hear my opinion, spoiler free, but if you want to know what the film is about and you want to hear what plays out in the film, then feel free to keep watching from here. The film starts off with Guy running away from police because I think he just committed a robbery, um, I believe. He gets put into a shop because he breaks in to hide from the police because he's shooting at him. He uh, manages to get away from the police, goes into the shop. The police officer goes in and is like, where are you? And manages to shoot him and the guy is bleeding out quite badly. So he says some um, magic voodoo thing and like lightning and stuff um, above the shop and he dies from blood loss you assume. Then cuts to different family, um, cuts to mum and her son and it's the son's birthday and he is obsessed with this show called Good Guys which has these dolls being sold. Um, it's a new thing and the mum says that she tried really, really hard but she didn't. Um, they came out after she had bought the present and she didn't have enough money saved up to buy it for his birthday. She's really, really sorry, all of this, and these dolls are going for like 100 quid apparently. Like they're really expensive dolls. Nonetheless, she goes to work and her work colleague is like, um, there's a guy out the back who's selling the doll for like half the price virtually. Um, we can go, we can see if he's still selling it. She runs along and gets it for like 30 quid. And they buy it and they take it back and she's like, look, I managed to buy you the doll. And he's like, yay, thank you, you're the best mum ever. And he asks the dolls what the name is and the doll's like, I'm Chucky. She has to go back to work, the mum. Um, work a bit of overtime and the work colleague says don't worry I'll look after your kid whilst you're gone make sure he goes to bed and stuff um, which my mum's very thankful for um, whilst they're gone um, the friend gets killed she gets pushed out a window um, she gets hit over the head with a hammer but you don't see who it is but there are footprints on the counter of small footprints and they assume that it's the kid because the police get called round because someone fell out the window um, of this flat. And um, police get called round and they assume that it's the kid because he has um, good guy shoes which has the same printed on the bottom um, in the flower that was on the counter. And they're doing that. And they're like, did you go on the counter? And the kid's like, no, I didn't go on the counter. And the mum's like, look, if you said you didn't go on the counter, then you didn't go on the counter. They go out, and the kid's in his room, and he notices that Chucky has flour on his feet with the same shoe pattern that's on his shoes. So he runs out, tells the detective, and he's like, look, Chucky was on the counter. It wasn't me, it was Chucky. They obviously don't believe him because it's he's saying that a doll went up on a counter and killed someone. And they just assume that this is some sort of like um, persona that he's taken on or if he doesn't want to admit that he killed them so he's saying that it was the doll. The mum gets annoyed at him and is like, look, you can't lie like that. Um, and the son gets taken away. The mum goes to throw out the doll because she finds it creepy or something like that. She goes throughout the box or something and the batteries fall out and she checks the doll and realises he doesn't have any batteries in but he's been talking and functioning this whole time. So she tries to get him to talk and he doesn't 
and she then threatens to put him in the fire and he goes crazy and threatens to kill her and says all loads of mean stuff. Which isn't very nice for her adult saying really. But says this and she's then like, oh no, my son's just been put into a mental institution for no reason because the doll's actually alive. She then goes and tells a police officer um, about Chucky and then says that um, he said that his name was Charles something. Um, and he's like, no, it can't be him because he's dead. But he did go by the name of Chucky. Doesn't believe her until he gets into a car and Chucky is in the car and tries to strangle him and then tries to stab him with a really cool knife. It's a really cool knife. I'm going to show you the knife and really hope that it doesn't get taken out. But it's a really, like, look at that knife. It's so cool. But that happens. Um, Chucky then gets shot in the chest and the police officer goes to the lady and is like, yeah, everything was true. Where to now? And they're like, well, we need to go because they correlate the his old friend or someone that he trusted a lot they were like we need to go find him and see what's happening Chucky had the same idea and went to go visit his friend who's this voodoo man and he says look you told me how to put my soul into this doll why am I now being hurt because I got shot and I bled and I felt pain and the guy's like, I would never tell you how you can become true human again or anything like that because this doll is going to die if you get hurt because it's slowly becoming human. And he's like, I don't want that. I want to become a human again um, rather than being a doll for the rest of my life. So he's like, okay, you need to go to the first person that you told that you were alive. And he's like, oh, okay. Um, then he kills him with his own voodoo stuff. Um, which is a bit sad. Um, he stabs the man's voodoo doll, which is kind of sad. Um, and the police officer and the mum get there too late and he bleeds out. Um, but Chucky is going to see the young boy in a mental institution. Um, and the young boy sees Chucky and tries to tell the doctor. And the doctor's like, don't be insane, boy. Like, you know. Nothing's going to happen, nothing's going to hurt you, because Chucky is a doll. Um, but then Chucky kills um, that doctor um, with an, well, the electroshock therapy thing and just keeps blasting it until he dies from electroshock therapy. What? The boy manages to escape from the institution and he goes back home because he feels safe there and that's the place that he knows that he can go. Um, so... The policeman, the um, mum and Chucky all go over to the house and then there's this really cool fight scene of them trying to kill Chucky for like 20 minutes they're trying to kill him. Um, and when all of this has happened, one of the other police officers comes in and is like, look, like, what happened here? Why is everyone hurt? And they're like, because of Chucky. And it's like, you mean the doll? And he's like, yeah, because of Chucky. And he goes, and um, Chucky's in like a couple of pieces at this point. Um, and he picks up the head and he's like, it's just a doll. This is just plastic. And then Chucky tries to strangle the other police officer. So, um, Chucky gets shot in the chest by the main police officer. The main police officer shoots him in the chest. And they all go to the hospital because they're all a little bit wounded and probably mentally scarred. Because a doll tried to kill them. I kind of love this film. I'm not going to lie. Um, out of all the other films that I watched, they were good in the moment. And I see why people like those films. However, I see why this one is so, such a cult classic and why people love it so much. Because it's such a good film. It's not scary at all because it's a haunted doll. Pick it up and just tear its limbs off, it's not gonna do anything. But that's just my opinion. It's not a scary film. So logically thinking that isn't scary, but at the same time I think if one of my dolls that I have come to life and tried to murder me, I think I would be scared. But I don't find it particularly scary as such, but it was a very, very good film. I really like the acting 
in it as well. The young boy was such a good actor. There's one scene where he has to cry. Um, and like become very distraught about what's happening. Um, which, I don't know. I think that's really cool. Um, very good actor, the young boy. Um, so with all the other films, I don't think there is one for Exorcist, but I'm pretty sure there's more films from like Nightmare on Elm Street and Scream. I'm pretty sure there's like a Scream up until five and I think there's like another five Nightmare on Elm Streets. And I have no want to watch them at all. I don't want to watch them because I'll watch the first one I have a feeling that's just it. However, I am wanting to watch the other instalments of this film. I have a want to watch it. I don't feel as though I need to watch it. I have a feeling that I want to watch it and I want to watch it as a series, which is the first time for any of these films that I previously watched. Which I say is pretty like that's the show that's a good film when I want to watch the sequels to it. I'd say anyway. I would highly recommend watching this. It's not scary. Um, the concept is quite scary, but the actual film itself isn't. The face of Chucky isn't done scarily, because there's a couple of scenes where he goes to murder someone and his face looks ridiculous whilst he's doing it. Or you see him running round, which I think they use an actual child to do, and it's just not scary. Because it just looks like a toddler running around with a knife. That's not scary particularly. It would freak you out in the moment of it. But I think watching it, it doesn't particularly freak you out. I mean, I say that. I'm probably going to have nightmares now. Because I haven't gone to sleep yet. Because I literally watched it earlier today. So I'm probably going to not be able to sleep. And then wake up in the morning and be like, oh no, I should have said that instead. This is the ranking system as well of where I would put it. Um, I put it above the other three. Um, not for scariness, but for my want to watch the other films, um, which I didn't have any urge to watch the others, but I did have an urge to watch that. It's probably the, the goriest, not the bloodiest, because Nightmare on Elm Street has a lot of blood in it but more comical blood so if someone gets stabbed there's comical amounts of blood this one has more realistic blood and realistic wounds um which makes it a gorier film but not a bloodier film in my mind it's only one more week until halloween which i'm very excited about um very very exciting um, as you can probably tell, Halloween is my whole aesthetic, so being able to dress up on Halloween when I do cosplay and I dress like this on a day-to-day -day basis, this calls to me, and I love it. <laughs> like this video, so I know that you enjoyed it. Subscribe, because um, I post videos like this weekly. I only have one more video to post in this Halloween series and you don't want to miss it do you? So if you subscribe then you won't miss it. I don't even know what film it's going to be yet. I need to think of a film that I haven't watched before that's a horror classic. I will think of some but please leave me comments below as well to what films that I can watch um, in case I run out of ideas. I watched the other ones as well that I've done in the series. I'll leave a playlist, possibly. I'll leave a playlist. That makes more sense. I'm going to leave a playlist. Just, just here. At the end of this video. I shall see you next week. Bye. I'm Chucky. Um. Hi, I'm Chucky. Hi. <laughs> Hi, wanna play? I'm cringing as much as you are.